here we go. It's taken me a little while, but you join me down in the deepest Bedfordshire on a lovely little, well, it's an estate type lake. And I'm fishing for tench. And I've had one or two fizzers and bubblers going on. And as much as it gets a bit frustrating, as you can see, I've got, I'm trying to get into the weed. And on the float, it is a lovely, lovely way of catching them. Beautiful. So there we go. Float, float fish caught tench. Simple, simple tactics. Lovely way to fish, which I'll explain as we go through, but great start. Well, good morning. You join me today, I'm on a lovely, lovely little estate type lake in uh, rural Bedfordshire, not too far from where I, uh, where I live, where I grew up. And uh, we're, targeting, we're targeting Tench and um, it's a fairly small venue, but there's fronds and fronds of weed literally strewn across. And then there's like little holes dotted about and um, it's within these holes that I'm just trickling little bits of bait in and then I'm fishing a simple float method um, directly over the top of them holes. Um, and what I've done, what I've done when, when I first got here, um, I had a, a good walk around the lake, just trying to locate it's clear, clear water and sometimes the, the tench are easy, easily spotable. So I walk all the way, I, sometimes I have two laps, but I wander around and just see whether I can find a pod of fish, a group of fish, um, even if they're not directly in that swim or over a spot, if, as long as they're in the vicinity, I sort of know that hopefully with a little bit of bait, hemp, pellet um, and the like, that I can draw them fish to them spots. And then what I do, is I simply um, just drop over the top, say I've got a, a simple float set up, which I will show you, um, and I'm just lowering it, dropping it into, into tiny holes. So what I've done, I've baited two or three different swims dotted around, um, and I'll start obviously in a peg, and then if I need to, I've got the opportunity then, I'll go and check the spots once in a blue moon or you know, if things go a little bit quiet on me in, in it's like in this particular peg, then I'll have a quick wander. Um, I'll take the bait bucket with me. And if need be, I'll introduce a little bit more bait. Just on the off chance that if things go quiet, I can side shift and I've got the off chance of an extra bite or an extra bite or two out of other spots, out of other swims. So I don't go overboard with with the bait just enough to say with hemp it goes a long way and it keeps fish grubbing around for ages um, and some four mil pellet it's just tiny 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 baits which will keep the fish from uh, for, uh, grubbing around and then yeah the plan is you drop a single bait over the top of them while they're grubbing and hopefully hopefully catch one or two so so that's what we're doing um, yeah, and we'll, we'll let, let's see how we get on. Whoa! Again, that was pretty instant. And, uh, not help me and Ty, we're just having a little bit of a chat and off, off it went. Try, they instantly, obviously, try and get back into the into the weed bed. 
and yeah so as I was uh, as I was trying to say earlier it's absolutely lovely playing them on the float gear and this is the uh, 12 foot glide and it's got more than enough power to uh, control these these tents and uh, let's be honest these are quite tight spaces with the weed beds either side and uh, you know I'm giving it plenty of grunt. Lovely. So there we are. Second bite, well I say it's third bite, I'll, I'll, I'll open up, I pulled out of a fish a little while ago but this is my third bite and this more or less took it, I wouldn't say on the drop but very shortly after it nailed it straight away. Um, and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm fishing a f few pellets, some krill pellets and some of the new marine green pellets from Sonyu, uh, four millers and a little bit of emp and I don't go too mad with it because I don't want them to get totally preoccupied on it if that makes sense and I'm fishing prawns on the hook which I will show you um, they seem to be nailing the prawns and uh, this little girl was no different so I'm going to slip her back and have another go right so bait wise I like things being as simple as I possibly can I'm, and minimal. Um, so all I'm using today for this particular trip is I've got some, some hemp, some Sonia Bates hemp. I've got some four mil marine green pellets, the new ones. Um, some six mil, which I go sparingly with. I put next to nothing, but it's just another color, another smell than if you like in the water. Um, yeah, six mil krill pellets. And as mainly today, I've been using prawns fresh water prawns pre-cooked ones straight out of the packet straight off the off the shelf um, the tench in this particular water seem to love a prawn um, you will catch them on other baits and bits and pieces but they they seem to like the prawn so um, that's what I've persevered with um, yeah and it's it, it's been working so you never know give them a try on your local if you've got sort of locals that's you know similar sort of makeup to what to what we're fishing today um give them a go you could be quietly surprised but say so i don't go overboard with me with me hemp and the tiny tiny part I, I think i put enough into to keep the fish grubbing around if they you know if they come over any of my spots but i don't want them to get preoccupied on it if that makes sense I just want them to come in see a big fat juicy prawn there while they're mulling around scratching bits and pieces off the bottom and um yeah as I say, it's been working, so give, get out there and give it a go. What I like to do is just say it's a, it's a hole and there's a, a bank of weed right at the very back. And I slightly overcast it and then pull back quick so that I'm actually dropping my hook bait in the hole. And all I'm using under this float is a, is a little four gram, well, Squalivet. It's the new ones from that we've brought out, which are square Olivets basically. It's four grams, so it's over overshotted my float. And I fish it a little bit, a little tiny bit over depth, and that just sits, nails it to the bottom then if you like without being overly overly heavy so I'm just overcasting and dragging it and letting it drop right into the hole into a clearing and um, and then flicking a little bit of bait out over the top and so far today it's working working fine Well, 
I'm hoping Ty got that bite on camera because um, again we was just chatting away and the line tightened and the rod tip pulled down to the water as it shot off when we float so um, we've had a couple of little battery issues but um, there we go another another float for uh, float fish caught tank. Right, so I just want to quickly run you through the tactics that I'm using today. Um, and it couldn't be any simpler, to be honest with you. And it, it, it suits what I'm trying to do perfectly. perfectly. Um, and as I've said, like, you know, we've, we're fishing amongst holes in the weed or sort of raked gaps in the weed and just dropping, dropping baits delicate, uh, delicately into the water. So I've got a 12 foot glide float rod more than enough grunt for um, helping me keep the fish out of the weeds or pulling, you know, pulling, pulling hard back while they're trying to get into the weeds or lily pads. Um, with that, I've got one of our little axis 3000 reels, which is loaded up with a six pound. On this occasion, I've got feeder line on so that it sinks. Um, I do use our uh, glide floating mono as well, but it's a little bit too windy today. So I'm trying to get the, uh, the line to sink so that the float just sits there on the spot with, you know, minimal, um, minimal dis being disturbed. So what I then do, I've got some of our ready, ready float kits. Again, nice and simple. One of our pro quill floats. This one in fact is a little 0.8 gram. So it's nice and compact. Um, and it's an absolute lovely way of fishing. Right, so coming down from, from the float, I'm straight down to a, um, a four gram, one of our new Squalivettes. Um, so that it's more weight than the float. So what I'm actually doing is pinning, pinning the last section of my terminal then down, down to the bottom, and I'm fishing it a little bit over depth and using the float. Um, sorry, I'm using the reel to put tension on the float so that I can actually dot it down to the surface as high or as low as I basically want it. Um, so with the Squalivette, I'm just trapping that on my line with some of our float stops and that stops it from moving. I don't want, particularly want it running, so I, I trap it with a float stop. And below is just one of our um, quick change swivels to which I attach my hook link. Now I tie my own hook links up uh, occasionally I use our, our ready-made hook links, which are great. Um, but today I've got my own tied up hook links, which is a six pound mono hook link. It's our smoke shield hook link, mono hook link. Um, about four, four, between four and five inches long. I've, I've tied a few up at home, all exactly the same length. So I know that my, my, my depth for, you know, nothing changes if I want to change my hook link. And then I finish it off with a um, size 12 grappler, barbless. This particular water is, is barbless only. So I've got a size 12 barbless grappler hook on there. Um, and that basically finishes it. So you couldn't get, you couldn't get a lot simpler. I was just sitting here wondering whether me whether me hook bait had come off. To be honest with you, 
and let them roll it. It dipped and line tightened and here we are. This one's putting a good account for itself up. Come on. Oh. There we go then. Lovely, another lovely little tench on the float. Can't be it. Well, there we go. She's only a little one, but they're all very, very welcome. Um, I think I've had six, seven fish, something like that now. The day hasn't gone quite to plan, to be honest. So I'd planned on roaming around a little bit and I baited one or two other spots up, but the fish kept visiting this particular spot that I've been fishing. Um, and I've not really had to move about too much, but um, so I've, I've baited one or two spots. Uh, but yeah. Corking little tench. I'm going to sign off now. The sun's right up in the sky. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Um, so I'm going to knock it on the head and uh, gather me bits and pieces up and get out. So hopefully you'll like the video. Get yourselves out there with, with this simple method. If you've got, you know, very similar sort of venues. Obviously, we've shown today that it, it does work. It can work. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.